It's right about now that I get a hankering for some comfort food, and I want to make you something that's going to make you feel better with all this weird, crazy stuff that's going on in the world. How about some homemade cinnamon rolls? Yeah, we're going to start to make that right now. I'm going to start out with my measuring cup here. This is a two-cup measure because, you know, a lot of times you end up with more than a cup. Like in this case, it's going to be a cup and a quarter or so. So I ran out of butter. Quite honestly, I really don't feel like going to the store right now <laughs> with everything I've been reading today. So my little prepper pantry that we had for hurricanes and stuff, I keep this ghee, which is a clarified butter. It doesn't have to be refrigerated until after you open it. And I'm going to use, you can uh, use ghee in place of butter, and all ghee is is clarified butter. So that's, that's pretty much the only difference. And uh, I need a quarter cup of that and a cup of milk, and I'm going to heat it up to just the right temperature to make my yeast happy. So that's just kind of lukewarm now. I let it sit for a few minutes and I put in a quarter cup of granulated cane sugar, organic, and a packet of organic instant yeast. And by putting the sugar in this mixture instead of with the flour, it's gonna make the yeast very happy. Look how it's already bubbling up, it's so happy. That might be the happiest looking yeast I've ever seen. So, that's why the yeast loves me. They go, let's go over to Elizabeth Doherty's house because we get to eat sugar right on. So I've got my little uh, wet mixture in here and I've got three and a half cups of flour that I whisked so you don't have to sift it. If you whisk it up, it gets enough air in there. You don't have to sift it. With a couple of pinches of sea salt, okay? And then we're gonna slowly add that into our mixer. So we're gonna let that mix up. It's gonna fight with the dough a little bit till it forms a ball. So our dough rose a little bit. And now I'm gonna give you the lowdown on the back side, which is we're gonna melt some butter, we're gonna put some sugar in there, and a whole bunch of cinnamon, and we're gonna roll out the dough. So you remember what I said about feeding the chickens? You gotta put it on your board, a little sprinkle of flour, and then turn out your dough, put a tiny bit of flour on top, so when you roll it out, it does not stick. Okay, then we're gonna talk about the cinnamon fillings. I'm just not in the mood to measure stuff. Okay, so I took a quarter cup of that ghee, and yeah, when you take it out of the fridge, it's kinda hard but I'm not keeping ghee out of the fridge. I don't care if other people do that. This is Florida, it gets hot. I'm keeping the ghee in the fridge. So I melted it in the microwave, quarter cup. I poured probably about a teaspoon-ish, generous teaspoon in my baking pan here, my glass pan, and uh, used this little brush move it around so that my rolls don't stick. Now, I'm gonna put the rest of the butter onto the dough. Then I'm gonna put, it's about a half cup of um, cane sugar and dark sugar, dark brown, and uh, two tablespoons of cinnamon, and really good cinnamon. Mix that all together. I'm not gonna be exact on this. It's freaking cinnamon sugar filling, okay? So all the people get all freaky about that, get over it, because this is supposed to be fun. Baking is fun. I mean, it's enough you gotta wash your hands every five seconds, which is fine. I do that anyway. But, you know, I'm not gonna freak out over measurements for sugar for filling the inside of a dough. So I rolled out my dough in a sort of a rough, big rectangle kind of deal. And I put on my ghee with the brush 
and it's all melted. You can see about a quarter cup or so. Now I'm gonna put the cinnamon sugar on top and roll it up. So I put my cinnamon sugar on top. It's not pretty, it's not exact, I don't really care. And please don't send me letters from like my baking teacher saying, hey, you know what? You should really measure that stuff out. You know what? That is just total BS. And now I'm gonna get letters saying, mommy, why did she say BS in her video? I'm sorry, okay? I'm really, really sorry. Now we're gonna roll it up. So there it is, rolled up. Now I'm gonna cut it with a serrated knife. I'm not using dental floss or anything like that. And I'm not cutting off the ends because I'm not gonna waste it. You know, they're not gonna be perfect, but they're gonna be homemade. See what I did? I cut it in half and then I made two equal cuts, equal distance from each other so that I can kind of portion it out. So here they are, baker's dozen of cinnamon rolls. Those are gonna rise for another, I don't know, half hour or so until I get ready, damn good and ready to put them in the oven, okay? Put some saran wrap on the top while they rise. You know, this damp towel stuff, overrated. Get a life. So these rose for another half hour or so, and aren't they pretty? They put me in a much better mood. So I'm going to pop these in the oven at 350 degrees for about 15, 20 minutes till they're nice and golden brownish around the edges. And when I take it out, I'm going to pour my glaze over the top and I'll show you how to make that. It's really simple. Don't make it all complicated, all tons of ingredients. It's powdered sugar and milk. That's pretty much it. So I took one and a half cups of organic powdered sugar and about three capfuls, gallon capfuls uh, from the gallon jug of milk and whisked it together. That's it. So three capfuls of milk and one and a half cups of powdered sugar. That's my super scientific method. Aren't those pretty? So I'm gonna let those cool off for a couple minutes and I'm gonna pour that glaze right over the top and we'll let it kind of set up and we can eat some really gooey cinnamon rolls for breakfast. <sighs> Makes my day. Now, see what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of lift this up. See how that drizzles right off of there? I'm gonna do that all over these cinnamon rolls. And there you have it, my friends. Thanks for hanging out with me while I went through my whole dealio of making these cinnamon rolls. Certainly a great way to start the day.